After her son Jace claimed that her spouse David Eason had attacked him, teen mom star Janelle Evans has spoken out. The 14-year-old informed police that his stepdad physically abused him and left marks on his arms and neck, as exclusively reported by the U.S. Sun on Monday. Only hours later, 31-year-old Janelle wrote a post on her Instagram story regarding toxic parents. In a video, a woman is heard stating, I thought keeping quiet kept the peace until I realized whose peace it is keeping. The teen mom two alum shared the footage. The words that were displayed above the video were, it sure doesn't protect the victim's peace. In her own caption, Janelle wrote, hashtag toxic parents. I'm still keeping their peace too. On Thursday, September 28, Jace ran away for the third time and was transported to the hospital, a source told the U.S. Sun. He allegedly reported that he had been physically assaulted by Janelle's 35-year-old spouse David to medical professionals, a therapist, the Columbus County Sheriff in North Carolina, and an employee of Child Protective Services. Everybody Jace talked to listen to him, the source said, and took the allegations seriously. The source claimed that marks were found on his arms and neck by the authorities. Jace stated at the hospital that the violent encounter happened the night before he fled. According to the source, there were witnesses to the alleged incident, which happened outside someone else's home. The insider also mentioned this. They used a ring camera to record the event. CPS has all the documentation of the incident. With three escapes in less than two months, Janelle and David are the subject of a CPS investigation, as exclusively disclosed by the U.S. Sun. Janelle has insisted that her son's assertions are untrue and has charged her estranged mother with being the source of the accusations. Her reaction to a worried user on X, the original name of Twitter, was as follows. Well, my husband is still a free man, so I definitely don't need your approval. Honestly, I don't know why my own mother, Barbara, is acting the way she is. She said in a subsequent post that she published. I think she's now fabricating reports with the police in an attempt to harm our family's reputation. There are multiple people involved in this situation and they know the truth, and so does God. David, on the other hand, has not yet addressed the accusations. Janelle's representative has been contacted by the U.S. Sun for comment. The Ashley's Reality Roundup was the first to report on the purported incident. At the time, the publication stated that Janelle's mother, Barbara Evans, had been contacted by Columbus County Police to her home. For the majority of Jace's life, Barbara was his carer, but in March, he moved back in with his mother. According to reports, Janelle phoned 911 at approximately 11.30 p.m. while Jace was still missing. At the time, she stated that she thought Barbara was keeping her son hidden. When the police got to the house, they discovered Jace wasn't there. But Barbara told them the supposed cause for Jace's disappearance. She said her grandson had told her that David had beaten him. The police report that the outlet was able to get said the following. I spoke with Barbara, who informed me that Jace wasn't at the house. She advised that she had spoken to Jace earlier in the evening when he called from an unknown number and told her about being assaulted by David Eason and that he ran away and was hiding. Barbara told police that she declined to pick up Jace when he requested her to because of continuing custody and legal concerns. Police were informed by Janelle's mother to get in touch if she heard from Jace once again. On Thursday night, Jace fled their North Carolina house by sneaking out, possibly through a window. On Friday, he was discovered and taken in to see medical professionals. The following day, Barbara was allegedly observed at a hospital in North Carolina, 